Along with big data, the Internet of Things has been one of the most heavily anticipated technology trends because it will touch on every sector of society and commerce. With me to discuss is Paolo Filetti from Ericsson. Paolo, what's the role of mobile services in the evolution of Internet of Things? It's very important because many of the applications and use cases that are being enabled by the IoT technologies are intrinsically mobile. So these are things that are related to actions or use cases that you do while moving. Where in its life cycle would you say it is today? Someone says that uh, it's uh, at the peak of inflated expectations, uh, meaning that everybody is uh, talking about that and uh, you know the real business value of that uh, maybe it's, it's still to be seen entire, in its entirety. We think that uh, we are really at the cusp of uh, an exponential growth of uh, the number of devices that are going to be connected to the internet. And how is Ericsson responding? Talk me through your latest innovation. Ericsson strategically has decided to go with a, a broad approach to the internet of things. Uh, so meaning being able to support all of the layers uh, of the IoT stack as well as helping our customers uh, uh, we, uh, in all stages of the life cycle of an IoT transformation. This will have quite the impact on industry. What trends do you see emerging? There is a stronger uh, industrialization aspect. So Internet of Things being used to optimize some existing processes, industrial processes, manufacturing processes, even business processes. So it's, a, it's an efficiency factor. On the other side, uh, there is a big consumer world uh, where everybody wants to use uh, connected devices, wearables, everything. We think that the real uh, common uh, factor with this is uh, the ability of acquiring information between, uh, that are being exchanging between all of those items, objects, uh, sensors, devices, uh, and also interaction with uh, human beings and make a business sense of out of this big amount of information. So by using also big data and analytics technologies, being able to enable even new applications and new use cases and creating this sort of data marketplace where those data can be made available to the ecosystem in order to build innovation. Security is surely an issue when it comes to this. How do you approach it? Security, yes, is a big concern because many of the applications that are enabled by the Internet of Things are processing and managing uh, information which can be also very sensitive. The whole stack has to be secured, starting with the devices. And uh, we are not a device manufacturer in this sense, but we have uh, services for uh, testing and certifying devices and ensuring that these are hardened enough in order not to allow for any intrusion or any undesired access to information. And then all the layers uh, from the network, the connectivity management, uh, the service enablement and the applications. So we tend to have a holistic approach also to security. So talk me through the relationship between the mobile, big data and Internet of Things. Most of the things you do with the Internet of Things are mobility enabled. You can acquire a lot of things that are flowing through the networks and telecom operators are in a very unique position to get um, uh, to exploit this. Big data, uh, yes, uh, it's, it's important, but it has to be connected with analytics, right? Because uh, you need to, to use those information right? and enable new use cases and new services that you can also monetize. That's uh, the real big new thing uh, when you move from, uh, for instance, from the old machine to machine world to IoT. Thanks for watching. For more videos from our new economy, please subscribe.